Hey guys, it's this Marion again on another episode of Fantasy Nights. And if you're asking the question, is he still wearing the same outfit from the last few videos? Yes, I am. I couldn't wear this hat and not put up a video of what I thought about my, my Jets this year and um, hopes, aspirations, and uh, everything that comes with, with being a Jets fan. So first off, I'm in here in New Jersey um, on this rooftop deck that's pretty sick. Uh, We'll be passing by some skyscrapers, so I thought it would be cool to to walk through this and uh, give my preview of what I expect or think that this team could be. Sorry if uh, the ride's a little bumpy, but uh, we're here to just uh, politic about the Jets. So let's start right off with uh, Fitzpatrick or Fitzmagic, as some people regard to him. Um, I like him. Again, I hate to say I don't love him, but you know, he's he's a temporary fix. Can he take us to the playoffs? Yes. I mean at 10 and 6, we lost the game that we should have won. Um, and it was pretty much due to his poor play at the end of the game, which is pretty much what his career has kind of been. Um, Fitzpatrick has been a great journeyman quarterback, probably the better story out of any other uh, quarterbacks. I think, uh, sorry for the noise of the wind, I think that he gets a lot of um, play uh, just because he's from Harvard. And I don't mean it to make it seem like just because he's from Harvard, but he can sling the rock, he pushes the ball down the field better than uh, a lot of other journeyman quarterbacks. Uh, this is probably the best team he's ever been on. Uh, he has great uh, magic, for lack of a better word, or chemistry with uh, Eric Decker. I call it the white on white connection. Um, and also with Brandon Marshall. I just don't don't understand how they're going to continue to put up points with just those two guys at the answer. They also this offseason picked up Matt Forte. Uh, always have loved Matt Forte for a second. I underestimated Matt Forte. I think he's one of the hardest working players in the NFL when it comes to staying healthy into his regimen, into his routine. I've seen some of his stuff. Um, he, he trains very similar to Sweetness um, and LT with, uh, you know, running up the hill and uh, doing, you know, old school kind of tactics and techniques, um, which I think is pretty awesome. Oh, let me walk backwards so that I can do this. I was going to do this in my other location. I might put up two, so we'll see. But if you can look far in the back, there she is, our lady. Oh, wait, is that her? I think it is. Yeah, that's her. That's her. That's her, which one is it? That's her. In between uh, my hat. That's the Statue of Liberty, folks, right back there. Um, just wanted to throw her in the video with an opportunity uh, to keep talking about um, the Jets. So, so Fitzpatrick um, was kind of upset that he was griping. I mean, he kind of got himself screwed up because he could have got kind of a two-year deal, I think, with a little less money, but they would have locked him up. Now he gets a one-year deal, and he's got to kind of put up a shut up kind of situation I think the Jets are in a bad position they don't really know what their next move is I think the best thing that ever happened to the Jets in the last two years was uh, Geno Smith's uh, mouth getting wired because it put Fitzpatrick right where he needed to be under an offense uh, under Chad Gailey that uh, Chan Gailey I hope I said that right I don't want to mess it up I've been actually you know working through all these names um, as I've been progressing through these videos but uh, in an offense that he's familiar with, and uh, he's been really kicking its butt, but I, I, I see now, you know, the NFL is a really smart uh, league, and people catch up really quickly. Um, I think, I think, you know, they're going to figure out how to stop Decker and, and Marshall. I think they need to create a, a, a third option, and um, I don't know if Forte is it. I don't know if he has enough in the tank, um, to quote Parcells, I don't know if he has enough gas in the tank to last the season there's no doubt I hope he does I'm not uh, taking shots at, at who he is as a player I just uh, I just have concerns um, I think the Jets have done a pretty good job on, 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 on getting players but they have kind of been putting players on this team that are a little over the hill I mean I guess when and, and I say over the hill in the sense that you know they're very seasoned um, you know, Marshall, Marshall ended up being a really good pick, and I was skeptical because everybody was giving him junk because, you know, he was filming a show while he was playing, uh, which is something that 
not a lot of people have ever done, if any. And now I think there's another player that might be doing it. So it seems to be more of a common practice now. I think the NFL, as it grows its brand, they're going to want to have, you know, sideline reporters and in the sense of players being able to come back and give, you know, their their data of in-game information onto these shows. And, and, and that's pretty priceless. But so as, as a personality on TV, Marshall's great. As an individual on the field, he's fantastic. Uh, he played really, really hard last year. I don't, I don't take anything away from them. Uh, Decker, you know, my missus gushes over him uh, because he's uh, he's married to that country singer, um, and 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 he's pretty cool. I mean, you know, he he's he's the whole package. You know, humble guy, uh, you know, grassroots, hard worker, the whole nine. He was great in Denver. Got paid very well. He, I think, he might have over uh, over outplayed his contract. But he's not the kind of guy that would rattle any cages. But I definitely think he over, he outplayed his contract, especially when you see guys like DT and and Des get the 70, 70 million with about forty guaranteed, and Des, I mean DT got about thirty five guaranteed, and I'm sure uh, Decker's contract is probably more in the 20, 20 million part guarantee. And then they have uh, what Zach Sudfield, who supposedly penciled in as their number one tight end, who oh, that's way suspect. I mean he's good, don't get me wrong, and, and good is a stretch because I think he's okay. He has a lot to to work on. I mean, I think he's all right, but he doesn't make all the catches. So uh, it brings up uh, Bowell Powell. And Bowell Powell, everybody's really high on, especially from a fantasy standpoint. But, I mean, unless they're going to put Bowell Powell, which I think um, I've seen him in a formation where they line him up out wide and then have Forte on the field too, then that could be a third receiver or a third threat or, you know, this quadrilateral kind of, and I just made up another word, I think, um, but just like this, this, this four-player asset uh, uh, on the field at any time where they can stretch the field out because that's, I think, uh, the best thing that they could do. I don't, I don't see this team being a, a run-heavy team. They don't have that bruiser. Ever since they let go of, of, of Ivory, I think they should have re-signed him. But, you know, they, they, they just do weird things. I feel sometimes they should be paying. I mean, they need the one-two punch. And sometimes they don't, they, they opt out to get somebody else. But I, you know, I got to look closer at their finances to see why and who they got locked up. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of money in that offensive line with uh, Mangle and, and the Brigger Shaw. So I'm sure they lost a lot of dough there and then they had to sign their, their front line. So, you know, they're built really well in the trenches, which is what you want a team to be. But um, the schedule is supposedly uh, one of the hardest schedules in the NFL, um, especially for the first four to five weeks. Um, and they're going to be in a position where they're going to have to, you know, throw it. And when they do that, they're supposedly playing uh, the first five games against the best uh, pass defense teams in the league. Um, but I'm optimistic. You know, this is the first time in a back-to-back -back season where the Jets are going to look good. I think it's all dependent on, uh, on Fitzpatrick and what he could do. Sorry, I'm walking back and forth trying to avoid people interrupting my show, um, trying to shoot this kind of deal uh, guerrilla style. Um, but it's, it's cool and fun and a learning experience. Oh, I, I forgot my, my Amazon... Uh, my Amazon plug of the day. Sorry, some sprinklers were going off. Some Amazon. The Amazon plug of the day is um, buy from Amazon. There's no reason to shop outside. I am wearing. Let me see if I can just show a little bit of it. Because uh, I think Amazon is the greatest thing since sliced bread. This white tee, Hanes Amazon, dropped to my door. Uh, I'm also wearing Hanes uh, briefs, boxer briefs. Dropped right to my door. I'm going to try to put an Amazon plug. It's going to be kind of hard, but I'm going to try to put an Amazon plug to see if they hear me out there to let them know that I want to do some marketing for them. I think it's, I'm absolutely in love with the app. I'm in love with the service. I'm in love with food delivery. Uh, you name it, I love it. I mean, anything you could find on Amazon is great. So I'm going to try to keep plugging that in. But um, in my final notes, as, uh, as we count on this video to 10, hopefully even minutes, uh, just got a long way to go, but if they could go 4-0 and while Brady's on the sideline, that could be great. If they can beat some really good teams, I would be impressed. That defense is pretty sick. Durrell is a shutdown corner. They have the three guys in the front lines to, to create sacks and turnovers. Um, I, they're 
they're considered a pretty bad defense in fantasy, but I would definitely snatch them up. I think that they, with that with that pass rush, they're going to get guys. I think I've seen um, in the Jets-Giants game, um, Harris get car- not carted off, kind of walk off gingerly. That could that could raise some some question marks because they need him to create more pressure. But um, overall, the Jets should be pretty sound. I mean, they, they might be another again nine and seven, ten and sixteen. They need that eleven and five record, I think, to kind of push them over the hump to get them into maybe the three, four, f- two, three, four mix of uh, of what it's going to be um, in the league. Someone's walking their dog over there. So uh, please uh, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Let's. Uh, Let's argue, let's debate, let's, uh, let's see if uh, the Jets can go all the way this year. Um, it would be great to see them uh, in a Super Bowl, having been since uh, 1968 with Broadway Joe. So it would be really fun and interesting and, 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 and exciting to see um, the other New York slash New Jersey, which is where I'm at, which is funny that I'm doing this video and half and half. I mean, I'm on the Jersey side, but I could see the New York side um, win, win the Super Bowl. It hasn't been done since 19. 19- uh, 68 so it would be great to get back to the dance um, so yeah so uh, leave your comments questions um, at the bottom and uh, we'll talk soon uh, peace out